Take a wild guess at who tops that list, Larry. Who do you think is on the top? And I'll give you one guess. The top of the most watched video of 2020. You you probably will never get it. I'm going to say it's probably uh, – it's probably uh, what's his name? Um, that that Latin singer, that one that does the Corona commercials with with Snoop, um, Ricky Gervais or whatever. No, nah, no, nah, something, something, Daddy. Uh, oh no, nah, hell no, nah, hell no, nah. no. Nah. You want me to? I, this is who's number one for the most, the most watched video of the year is this brother right here, a brother. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm not mad at him. Now, now the one that kind of bothers me a little bit, and ladies, I have a lot of questions about the predilection for an individual that does this kind of behavior. This is the number two most watched video. You know who that is, Larry? No, I don't. <laughs> That's Jeffrey Star of YouTube comes mm. in with the number two most watched video. And ladies, yes, I would like to know if you watch any of the housewife shows, they all have best friends who happen to be men that are gay or lesbian or whatever you want to call it. And they do makeup and hair and they love them. He looks like a sex doll. I, and I'm also bothered that as many women that are on this list that do makeup, he beat out the women, and he's a man. So take it for what it is. And then number three on the list is this guy right here, Mark Robert. And really? I, I, I can be cool with him. He's an engineer, tech guy, has a big following on YouTube. Look at his alma mater, Brigham Young, University USC. of USC. Um, several viral videos that have gone viral, and the rest of the list is like this. So there you see Dave Chappelle, number one, Mark Robert, number two. SNL, ladies and gentlemen, came in with the number three most watched video when they did the debate <laughs> between Donald Trump <laughs> and Joe Biden. And then the rest of the list rounds out with Jeffree Star, Mr. Beast. I'm sure, Larry, you've watched him. Nikki Tutorials, Dream, NBC, Ricky G or whatever, Dude Perfect, and Your some babe. good news. Larry, of all the, the videos on this list, which ones have you watched? Um, I probably just did the Dave Chappelle one and the SNL one. Um I'll be honest with you. When I look at this list, it's a little bothersome to me because I look at the list, I see I all I'm starting to see just a big like it's Net, like network turn into like a big network TV station. Yeah, I mean you have Netflix yep. up there, you have SNL, yep. you have NBC, yep. you have uh, what's his name, John Karnaski, who's another big Hollywood actor. Yeah, you have the, I mean you just, yeah, I, I mean I feel like I feel like YouTube was that place where, where you could go get away from all of the the commercial all the commercialized, uh, you know, big network stuff and you go get real true organic, you know, people out there making videos. And now it's just another place for the networks to put their content. And yeah, I don't and, and like that, it. I'm bothered by that too, man, because you knew immediately whenever the networks were going to come in, um, they was going to push out the content creators because, they already have a following. They already have a monetized following. And all you're doing is coming over here, getting on YouTube, gobbling up the table scraps of monetization that is left. And I'm just kind of like, it's kind of, what is YouTube supposed to do, Larry? What are they supposed to do? Because they went corporate. And I can just about tell you the time when we had that ad apocalypse, when Creators was up here doing some of the stupidest stuff, but that's what built YouTube. Right. YouTube went very corporate at that moment, and that's when you start seeing this deviation toward um, mainstream entities such as NBC, the network TV shows and all that. It seems like that was the time in which the algorithm starts supporting more of them, and I, I noticed can. that was the time 
when the algorithm just said to hell with people like me and you. Yeah. I mean, I mean literally, I think you had what 170, 175,000 subscribers. I was crossing 140. I was crossing 110 when the ad apocalypse hit. And then after that, it's been hard to grow. Um, I'm happy to see Dave Chappelle and what he did on that list because that particular skit he did was a voice that we needed at the time of the George Floyd shooting and I mean, the George Floyd killing and all that was going on during that era. But I follow you, my brother, in your concern that YouTube is becoming extremely corporate and commercial and has gotten away from the original use of being about the home-based content creator. Yeah. It, it, you know, and I, I mean, I, I, I get why – I get on some level why the networks are putting their stuff up there because there was a lot of concern with them when there was – you know, there was a lot of concern with these networks saying that they're losing viewership because – a lot of young people just simply weren't turning on the TV. They were cutting the cord, so they didn't even have access to some of the stuff. And they just weren't watching. They were like, why do I need to watch a TV program when all my favorite when all my favorite programs are on YouTube? And so, you know, now they're up there trying to trying to get on YouTube and and they are on YouTube. And, it, and it's difficult because you, you know, you have to wonder how cozy that relationship is with the networks and, and YouTube, because the, a lot of these, a lot of these places like Netflix and, and NBC and all these, these big networks, they're paying YouTube for ad dollars. And I just cannot believe that with all of the millions of dollars that are being paid in ad dollars, that is not affecting NBC and Netflix and ABC and CNN and, and, and HBO and all the other networks that are on YouTube. I can't believe it's not affecting their, their ranking in the algorithm. They're ranking on YouTube. It's like, it's like they're putting out millions of dollars in ads. So we should probably push them up a list a little bit so that their content shows up first, you know, Mm -hmm. I don't like it, man. I just, I, 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 it's not that I it's not that I don't want them on there. I just I like the fact that I like the fact that it, that you used to be able to go on YouTube and quickly and easily find really new, fun, interesting stuff. Sometimes it was controversial, but you can find stuff. Now I find it's more and more difficult to find original stuff. Like when I turn on my when I turn on my TV and I go to my YouTube app, I get the same stuff fed to me all the time. It's the same it's the same creators all the time. And I appreciate that some of them, I like them, I subscribe to them. But sometimes I want to find new people. I don't get the explore stuff. that I don't get the discovery that I used to get. Yeah. And- Not to mention, man, that since they done done the whole kid thing, a lot of people's notifications have been turned off. And yeah. that, that bugs me to no hell. Um, somebody found one of my videos yesterday that was here during my Cody days. And right. they said, Lamont, where you been at? I said, I ain't been nowhere. They was like, we haven't gotten notifications from you in over a year. And mm. I said, did you go in there and check to make sure they was turned on? And they wasn't. So at some point in time, when they've done all this new stuff, people's notifications got turned off. And if you're not following somebody on a daily or weekly basis, you're probably missing out thinking that they have disappeared. And you might have um, been pulled into the thing Larry is talking about where the only people you're going to see are the videos you've watched most recently. So if you right. was following me for something I put out two months ago and you want to know what I'm up to, you're not getting that because you're not watching me on a regular basis. So I don't know where we go, Larry, short of someone is going to have to create a new YouTube. But then when that person does jump out the window and do that, unless you have some other funding source, you're probably going to be pigeonholed into the same position YouTube is in because it was the wild west for YouTube. Now you've got legislators talking about how the hell can we put restraints and uh, regulate some of what's coming out of social media. And to some degree, I understand why they want to do that considering what happened in the last presidential election in 2016 and continuing to see this misinformation, disinformation where people seem to just be literally not smart enough to discern what's legit and what's not. I can see why they want to put some regulation on it. But Mm -hmm. 
you're still going to get pigeonholed at some point in time, my brother, unless you can somehow or another get some money out of the people watching your content. But I don't know what YouTube does. I thought Twitch was going to be that thing for a minute, but they just, you know, I mean, Twitch was Twitch was a was a difficult challenge, I think, for a lot of people because they were all about gaming, and it seems like they've started to sort of move towards a more of a general audience, you know, in a sense that's not, but it's still primarily gaming, and but Twitch has always been about live streaming, and not everybody wants to live stream. It's not, a lot of people want to want to produce their content. Yeah. and and shine it up and and then present it to the world you know exactly. and, and 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 not everything is 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 geared towards live streaming if you are a if you're a travel vlogger it's like sometimes i vlog you know sometimes i go out and i'm out in the world and i want to turn my camera on and show people stuff and and i mean something simple like you know a month or so ago i went apple picking with my niece and my and my wife and my sister-in-law I shot an episode while I was apple picking. I can't live stream that, you know? Well, Larry, I mean, so, so, sometimes I'm doing things <laughs> where I just want to turn on my camera and polish that thing up and put it up here, <laughs> but you two won't allow me to put those type of things up here. You know what I'm saying? I got, I some, things, I got some things I feel like I can teach some young brothers to help them better their walk with their women. But YouTube ain't about to let me put that up here. No, 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 no. no. Mm -mm. And mm -mm. if it gets up there, they'll demonetize it. Exactly. Exactly. You know?